Hello and welcome to our lesson on continuing and describing sequences. So we're going to continue the sequence 3, 6, 9. We do this by understanding the 10th term, term rule, which is add 3. 3 add 3 will make 6 and 6 add 3 will make 9. So we're doing this again and we get 12 and then 12 add 3 is 15. To describe this sequence, we say it starts at 3 and the 10th term, term rule is add 3. For question 2, we have 10, 12, 14. The 10th term, term rule, from the 10 to the 12, we have to add 2. From the 12 to the 14, we add 2 again. And 14 add 2 is 16. And 16 add 2 is 18. So here is our description of this sequence. For question C, if we look at our term to term rule, we might think it will be add 1, but 2 add 1 would make 3, and 3 add 1 does not make 8. So we need a different term to term rule. Another way of making 2 from 1 is to multiply 1 by 2. And we can do this again. 2 times 2 will make 4. 4 times 2 will make 8. And 8 times 2 is 16. We multiply this by 2 and we get 32. So our term to term rule is start at 1 and then double each term. Do you want to try and work out the missing terms in sequences 4, 5 and 6? By pausing the video and you can resume it when you're ready. Okay, for question 4, we start at 4 and we add 4 to make 8, we add 4 to make 12, and we add 4 to make 16, and we add 4 to make 20. So our term to term rule is we start at 4 and we add 4 each time. For question 5, we start at 4 and we take away 5 to make negative 1, we take away 5 again to make negative 6, and again to make negative 11, and again to make negative 16. So our term term rule is we start at 4 and we subtract 5 each time. Okay, and for question 6, we're going to look at the difference between each two terms. The difference between 1 and 1 is 0, between 2 and 1 the difference is 1, again between 3 and 2, between 5 and 3 the difference is 2, and between 8 and 5 the difference is 3. We have the same sequence here, so the next number in our sequence will be 3 add 5, which is this number, to make 13, 13, but add 8 to make 21. This is a Fibonacci sequence, which is a very special sequence in maths. Okay, I hope you found that useful. Thanks for watching and take care.